Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. All right, let's get right to it. Spot number one, this area here. It's that tropical wave that was not developing that moved into Central America as expected. But that moisture is now combining with a front that's sitting near the Southeast US and Northern Gulf. And that could eventually all develop into a tropical storm or even a hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico just over the next couple of days. I wanna get into that and the winds and the outlook on that plus the model by model comparison. And then watching this area, kind of an elongated area sitting off the coast of Africa that may develop and head toward the Caribbean. I want to cover that and show you the changes that I'm seeing uh, from when I joined you yesterday, some of those differences. So I'm going to uh, get into that and the prospects for us in the Caribbean. Here's this area bringing some heavier rain uh, to parts of Mexico this morning. It's this area here that's going to gradually build in the western Gulf of Mexico and Bay of Campeche. And that means some heavier rain at times, especially across uh, parts of eastern Mexico and even the Yucatan of Mexico. Now, here we are in the Caribbean. There's a little spin here near Puerto Rico. This one, not really tropical in nature, just bringing some extra rain and storms. We've seen some near Barbados and uh, Dominica this morning. And then as we swing out here, we are watching this area of uh, kind of an elongated area of just rain and storms. Not really organized, right? But as we go over the next couple of days, we could see this area trying to get better organized, but the dry air, that overall has been winning out. Look at all this uh, orange shading here, right? That's why things haven't been developing the last few weeks. So it's going to be a wait and see on this, but I'll expand this out and show you the big picture model. Now, as far as the chances of development go, you could just find some of these brighter colors on this map. You see here as we work our way back through the uh, Gulf of Mexico, a high chance of development here. So uh, whether or not it becomes a hurricane, not quite sure. I'm going to show you that, uh, but a high chance that something does now develop in the Western Gulf of Mexico and this general area out here, which is very typical for this uh, time of year, watching out for the chance of some development in the Atlantic that will gradually head toward the Caribbean as we get into next week. Now I look at everything, not just the models, but the environmental conditions. This is the seven day temperature trend. There's been so much rain in the northern gulf uh, that it has actually cooled the water down you see this blue shading here that's a temperature drop in the water because of just all i mean we've had so much flooding in parts of louisiana for example so with that that's going to be very interesting to see if the models pick up on this a lot of the models are now developing this area into a tropical storm or hurricane, but I'm curious to see how these cooler water temperatures uh, kind of play into this. It'll, it'll be a wait and see, but that is some good news that there's been that temperature drop because of this big blob of rain. So let me start here, then expand it out through the Caribbean into the Atlantic and even look at what's going on in Canada this uh, morning. But you can see here, this is the front here. This is that tropical wave, tropical disturbance that moved in. Now let's go out in time here. Here's your clock. This is by the time we get into Monday, let's just flip over into Tuesday because over the next couple of days, we'll just see the moisture building. But by Tuesday, we could get some development. So here's all this rain in the Western Gulf. Now we've had a couple of systems, Alberto and Chris rolled right into Northeastern Mexico monitoring that. But you see here by Wednesday, this area may lift a little bit more to the north. Okay, so that may lift up more to the north, closer to the Houston area. And then at that point, organizing, starting to get better organized. This is the American model saying, hey, yeah, this is going to become a tropical storm and potentially a hurricane. Here's the Aboma area and then lifting heavy rain. Now, regardless of if this is Wednesday evening, if this develops into a hurricane or a tropical storm, there's going to be so much rain there's already been so much rain. So that is going to cause some intense flooding in these spots. Some of the same spots that I've been dealing with rain for days after days. This would be Thursday, whatever this area is, would work its way up into uh, northern Louisiana at that point. Now you can see it a little bit better here in the winds. Again, this is based off the American model. Uh, depending on where you are, I have kilometers an hour and miles per hour to keep everyone uh, covered. This white shading, those would be winds around 50 miles per hour gusts. These would be some of the gusts. Uh, that's 80 kilometers an hour. So watching Mexico carefully uh, through the Bay of Campeche for some gusty winds right along the coast. We could get a mudslide threat too, depending on how this kind of uh, curls up. Right there 
there, you see that spin. This is Monday afternoon, starting to show some signs of development. You see that circulation with me right here, and then this is gonna live to the north. Can it curl back into Mexico? That's a possibility, uh, but as of now, most indications are just kind of paralleling the coast. So you can see that spot right there. That would be the developing center of this, and then it would work very close to the coast. So my friends in Northeast Mexico, more of that potential some gusty winds and that mudslide potential on Tuesday. So this is Tuesday trying to develop into a tropical storm. After that, it may try to develop into a hurricane, but I mentioned those water temperatures. I don't just look at the models. Those water temperatures have cooled the last couple days, but here some sort of tropical depression or a tropical storm. A tropical depression is uh, uh, kind of uh, what happens before a tropical storm. So not as strong, not as organized, uh, but you see these winds in here, some of the gusts about 50 miles per hour. There's that circulation there. This is when it could develop further as we go through the day Wednesday. Could be one of those systems that kind of develops uh, 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 quicker just before it gets onto a land. So watching out for uh, parts of uh, the uh, Houston area, Galveston Bay, and then lifting right up toward Louisiana. This would be by Thursday morning. Uh, tropical storm at light conditions at the least, and the biggest concern will be some of that heavy rain that will work in. Now, that's the American model. So what is the European model seeing? Well, the European model right now is just seeing this, not tropical in uh, nature. This is tied to the front, and I'm watching what's going on out here. This is that little spin near Puerto Rico. Not really tropical in nature, but Antigua and Barbuda for us in Anguilla. It may bring us some scattered showers and storms today. I'll get into the uh, forecast. So starting here, so here we are in the Caribbean, here we are in Jamaica. Uh, you could see here as we work our way into Sunday afternoon, the European model is still trying to figure out where this may develop or what may develop. It's not as aggressive as the American model. The American model is saying, hey, this is going to be a tropical storm or a hurricane. The European model is kind of holding off on that. And maybe, maybe uh, because it's just, uh, there's been so much um, kind of a disorganized area. It's really hard to kind of find where this may want to spin up. Plus those water temperatures have cooled a little bit. So you see here, it does have some sort of circulation trying to develop. This here would be by Monday afternoon. Now what I am seeing is it's a very similar track and I'll show you the comparison in a moment to what we're seeing with the American model, which is the bad news because that is just gonna bring that slug of moisture to the areas that have already had it. So this here is by Tuesday, not as aggressive as the American model. So maybe a tropical depression, maybe a tropical storm, but just showing really a big slug of moisture that's gonna pull into Louisiana. This here is by the time we get into Wednesday, showing that rain that will be uh, working in on Wednesday and then flipping over into Thursday, not an organized system, but just a lot of rain in some of the same areas that have been dealing with the rain for days after day. So here's that a comparison I want to break down. Now, uh, you can see the American model, it's the GFS, takes us a little bit closer to the Beaumont area, the European model, a little bit more right into uh, Louisiana. But the ICON model has us become a hurricane. That's been the aggressive model this season, really spinning things up. It's been generally too aggressive. I look at the trends. Uh, it was developing this area into a hurricane uh, for days, and that has not not happened yet. American model, about a, a tropical storm. I showed you those winds, uh, 50 miles per hour, 80 kilometers uh, an hour, could be a little higher. European model has no storm. And then the Canadian model also has a hurricane. So yeah, uh, just a uh, kind of high end, yeah, hurricane is, is a possibility in the Gulf. Low end, um, just a big area of moisture. But the biggest issue is somewhere in between, which would be the rain happening over those same locations, uh, giving that big flood potential. Now, let me show you uh, the the big picture, then I'll jump into Canada in a moment, and those rain totals, you see what's going on here. But let's look out into the Atlantic. So here we are uh, across uh, Guadalupe, Dominica, get over toward Barbados, St. Lucia, Trinidad, St. Vincent, and the Grenadines. You see a couple spots we're watching here in the Atlantic. I was highlighting this in yesterday's video. This is a giant wait and see because we know how this season's been going. All that dry air I showed you at the uh, beginning of this video has been eating away at these systems, but right there, this is by Thursday, so Thursday of the upcoming week. Now, yesterday, the American model was showing this becoming a tropical storm and then quickly becoming a hurricane, and you heard my hesitancy on that. I was saying, wait and see. Now it's kind of backed off on this. This would be by Friday, but on Friday, it would have some sort of system or at least a stronger tropical disturbance approaching the Northeastern Caribbean. You see it right there, but you see how it's not as organized. You could see the video from yesterday and get a look at that comparison. It shows the increased rain for us in the Northeastern Caribbean, US, uh, British Virgin Islands, uh, back toward uh, St. Martin, over toward uh, Antigua, Barbuda, and Anguilla. 
even St. Kitts and Nevis, but not as strong as what yesterday's model was seeing. So we'll wait and see on this, but there's going to be a couple areas to watch uh, in addition to what's going on in the Gulf of Mexico as we get into the week ahead. So the next name on the list is Francine. No guarantee that the name in the Gulf or the uh, area in the Gulf gets a name and the one at the Atlantic uh, gets a name, but uh, Francine is the next name on the list. Then Gordon, Helene, and Isaac. There's only been five named storms. I say that with a grain of salt because unfortunately, all five have impact at land. Everything that has developed into a named system has made landfall this season, which is a rarity in itself. But there's this area that's going to kind of pull its way up to the north. Here's the heavier rain that I've been highlighting the last few days, Guatemala, El Salvador, uh, parts of Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica. We're going to watch out for areas of flooding. My friends in Belize, we've had some isolated flooding as expected, scattered showers and storms today. Now it's a, a big weekend, uh, watching out for some scattered showers, heaviest which will be near uh, Guatemala and El Salvador. And of course, as we swing back toward Mexico, a little more scattered across the Yucatan, Merida, back toward Cancun and Cozumel. But there's that rain that's going to be lifting up to the north. Elsewhere, uh, just hit or miss from Jamaica all the way around the Horn, uh, back through uh, Trinidad. We'll see a few isolated showers and storms, not as much. A little more moisture building in the Western uh, Caribbean as we work our way into the upcoming week. And then the upcoming week, all eyes will be on what's going on out there in the Atlantic. Now, of course, the seas are going to build uh, central and uh, western Gulf of Mexico. It is going to be very choppy, a little bit choppier here. I should say it's actually going to be very rough here. It'll be a little bit choppier as we get toward the northeastern Caribbean with really that non-tropical spin that's bringing us a few showers. But look how the seas build. There's meters and there's feet on your screen. And you can see these even reds that will eventually pop up, which is a uh, five meters leaders right there, which corresponds to upwards of about 15 plus feet. You'll see this, this is by Tuesday. So this here is Tuesday. And then as we work our way deeper into Tuesday, you see everything building. And then by Wednesday, those seas are just gonna build further, especially as you get near the coast of Texas and then back toward Louisiana as this system tries to develop. So right now, uh, maybe about a tropical storm, but as I mentioned, rain, the biggest threat with this. Then you get over here to the Atlantic region of Canada in almost tropical storm-like conditions, 50 millimeters of rain, or two inches of rain or higher in some spots as we go throughout the day, at least it's moving, but we're gonna get some gustier winds right over toward Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, uh, New Brunswick, keep me posted. And then as we get into later today, Newfoundland, we'll see some of that uh, heavier rain working in. So this is tied to the front right here. And this is that area that was near Bermuda, just kind of lifting in, gets tied together as we work our way into Sunday. And then there'll be another pocket of moisture riding along the old front that will try to work its way uh, up to the north as we get into Sunday. Sunday. And you see another shot of rain right there as we get into Monday across uh, Newfoundland. So very active pattern. Let me know in the comments how the uh, winds are doing and some of the gust as we go throughout the day. Now as far as the rain goes, I'll circle around and we'll get back to this in a moment. But uh, spotty showers and storms for many of us. Rain chance in the short term, not too high. Cuba, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Turks and Caicos, Jamaica, Cayman Islands. We may get a passing shower or two, but that little spin here could give us a couple more where over the next few days, we could get some spots of 50 millimeters of rain or two inches of rain uh, right around Saba, Stacia, over towards St. Croix, Tortola, uh, St. Thomas, just that kind of disturbance that's sliding by in the Northeastern Caribbean, Dominica, Martinique, same thing, but St. Lucia South, not as much. St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Grenada, Trinidad, uh, mainly dry. And of course, we're going to be on the hot side across Barbados. St. Lucia, so very hot. Suriname, we have really dried out. Guyana, uh, Guyana, not as much. But then we get back here. These are those higher totals. Even this black shading showing up at times. Even that red shading that is off my chart here, that's over 150 millimeters of rain or over six inches of rain. And that's why I did mention the life-threatening uh, rivers, uh, the runoff, the mudslide potential, watching those river crossings things very carefully over Central America. And here's that big slug of moisture. And you look at these colors, the reds would be upwards of a foot of rain plus even those brighter colors. We're talking uh, 12 inches of rain or even higher. So you're looking at 300 millimeters of rain or higher. We'll just see how this kind of lifts up to the north. So we'll keep an eye on the development. I mentioned those water temperatures though, they have cooled down. So hopefully that will prevent uh, some development. But a few spotty showers and storms possible. Falmouth, Montego Bay, as we go throughout the day. Cayman Islands, only a nice 
isolated chance, 30% chance, 30 to 40% chance across uh, Trinidad and Tobago. And we are on the hot side. Same thing in Barbados. Generally the same thing the next couple of days in St. Lucia. Rain chance stays low and we're on the low side. Just a 20% chance today in Grenada. Just a 20% chance today in St. Vincent of the Grenadines. It will pick up a little bit as we get into early next week. 30% chance today in Martinique and throughout the weekend, a 30 to 40% chance of a passing shower uh, in Dominica staying on the hot side. Now, as we lift to the north, Rain chance will be a little higher as we get toward that spin that's kind of pulling back toward Puerto Rico. So Guadalupe up toward Antigua and Barbuda. You see about a 50% chance of rain as we go throughout the weekend, holding at a 50% chance, St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat. And about a 40% chance in Guilla and St. Bart's. May see a little resurgence of some rain on Monday. Could give us a better chance of some showers, and we'll do that again. Uh, St. Martin, Sabe, and Stacia. So the next three days, it is going to stay unsettled. 50% chance of some scattered showers and storms this weekend in Puerto Rico. Hit or miss as we get back toward the U.S. and British uh, Virgin Islands. 30 to 40 percent chance across the Bahamas favoring the northern Bahamas with a lot of that rain that has been in Florida, kind of coming off of Florida. Turks and Caicos, 20 to 30 percent chance of a passing shower. 40 percent chance on Monday. Uh, Dominican Republic, we are mainly dry. We are very hot, very hot across Haiti. Also mainly dry. It would be a very rogue thunderstorm uh, possible throughout the day. 50 percent chance of those scattered showers and storms in Belize. Uh, we've been watching a few from overnight and this morning. Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire generally on the dry side. Rain chance about 10% and that's it. We swing back toward Guyana. That rain chance has dropped off and we are generally dry now with all the action up to the north. Suriname, we are mainly on the dry side. Scattered showers and storms across Cuba. Equal chances, uh, western, central, and eastern sections. Costa Rica and Panama, still that elevated chance of rain. Still watching out for some of that rain around parts of Nicaragua, monitoring some flooding. Rain chance in Honduras at about 50 50%. A lot of that uh, will be just kind of scattered about throughout the day. Guatemala and El Salvador watching the runoff from the rain we had, watching those rivers. About a 40 to 50% chance as we work our way through Mexico City. 40% chance of scattered showers across the Yucatan Peninsula. 20 to 30% chance in northern Colombia. And we're looking at about a 20% chance in northern Venezuela. And as we work our way into Bermuda by Monday, the rain chance will be a bit higher with one of those fronts getting closer. So a Gulf system is more likely. What it develops into a wait and see. The biggest threat will be either way, the heavy areas of rain impacting the areas that have already had the heavy areas of rain. Now, I'm going to be monitoring the Atlantic as we get into next week. And we'll see if that dry air wins out. There's going to be that strong tropical wave, actually two of them. We'll see. Let's wait and see on that. I'm going to be watching that around the clock to just kind of get a good feel on the environmental conditions and the potential of development as that uh, tropical wave, tropical disturbance gets a little bit closer to the Caribbean as we work our way into next week. So clearly a busy pattern that is typical for September. Watching everything for you. Let me know what's going on where you are. You can put your weather, your location in the comments, and I'll be going, throughout, uh, going uh, through that throughout the day. I hope you're doing well. Be safe and have a good day ahead.